Alright, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do parallel quests extremely fast. Let's get right into the video. Sorry if I sound rather uninterested, it's because I usually record videos without using my voice. But this is the exception, because I'm going to be explaining how to actually do something for once. Alright, so what you're going to want to need, you're going to want to need a race that's good on, on doing key blast damage. I picked female Lurthling because they're just better than female Saiyans at this point, because their damage, or basic damage is just dog water. So what you're going to want is that you're going to want to have a QQ bang for your character that something, looks something like this. If you don't, then you could just use something um, something more basic like this one, or specifically this one. Look at the key stamina and uh, key blast supers. Something along the lines of like Beerus cloth stats. Uh, other than that, here's what the necessary super soul you're going to need for this for these quests. You're going to want to have Raditz super soul. When throwing an opponent, boosts strength of all attacks by a small amount. It can be stacked up to 10 times. So it boosts your attack by 5% every time you grab someone, up to 10 times, which gives you a basically a flat 50% damage buff when fully stacked. The skills that you're going to want to have is the necessary ones. You're going to want to have one like skills that hit one time, like Bend the Command Mail Wave, Gigantic War, Special Beam Cannon, something like that. I use Super Explosive Wave because it's a key evasive that's two stamina. Beast because it's the strongest transformation that the Earthlings have in their kit. Uh, and Vanishing Ball. Vanishing Ball is the exception to the rule of one-hitting super attacks because you can actually, since it does so much damage, you could you could and the mechanic that it has, you could actually loop it together over and over and over again. If you manage to hit the first one and you're holding forward, you can press it again and it keeps looping. I'll show it off once once I get into a quest. As for your other super attack, this one, uh, I don't know. I just usually I just have formations there because I just can. I don't have, I don't know what else I can put in there that can make this build better. Maybe like another pose or something. I don't know. I just have formation there for the simple fact that it restores your key once you fully do the taunt and it boosts your key and strike attacks. And burst charge because it's the best charge of the game. Do not use ultimate charge. It is so terrible. Do not use it. It's a noob trap. Gigantic Roar Special Beam Cannon because they hit once. And that's pretty much the reason why. These are the stats of my character, 84 in key, because it gives me two bars of key, because 42 is actually one bar for everything of these statures. Stamina, 42 is because it gives me one bar of stamina, two bars of key, blah, 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 blah. Basic attack, 124. The reason why it's 124 is because I wanted to give it to actually fill the bar in. And key blaster is 125, because, I, like I said, she's a key blaster. Alright, I'm going to switch to my main character's account real quick. Alright, so what you want to do now is you want to have Hercules Satan as a custom mentor. Basically, just have him be your teacher, in uh, in a way. Have him unlocked as a custom mentor so you can customize what he's able to equip. And you're going to want to have to equip a very specific super soul that he has. That's crucial for this to work. You want to go to go here, you want to... You're going to go to super soul. You want to pick Hercule, Hercule. Just unlock it. It's like the third... The, the third one down here, right here. Audience member Super Soul, when you knock out an enemy, it boosts your strength of all your allies and your attacks by a small amount. And they could be stacked up to 10 times. Once again, it's very similar to Raditz Super Soul, where you could boost your attacks by 5% each time you do a specific thing. So, when you have two of these, what you're going to want to do is have him, like, equip it, right? And what the basic premise of this is, is you want to gonna have to kill, like, 10 individuals that, uh that are in parallel quest in order to get the 50% stack on his super soul and not only that it stacks with two of them combined so if you have two Hercule Satans you can get up to a 100% damage boost on your character Greetings. here I'm gonna go to a quest let's go to a quest that doesn't necessarily have a lot of people in it like this one this is a really basic one you know five people to fight it's actually a perfect place to showcase why um, having multi-hitting moves is actually worse than having one single hitting moves. Uh, I'm just going to pick my, my female earthling here, and then I'm going to pick Hercule Satan. Well, if I can find him, that is. Whatever you do, don't fight for real. Just ignore him, don't worry. Whatever you do, don't fight for real. Alright, so what you want to do when you spawn in any mission, just fully charge out, transform. You know the, you know the thing. Do you work for the gods? Hmm. I suppose some are foolish enough to entrust their mission to others. And I am still. 
that is far more bearable than the blasphemous mortals. They do nothing but sully the name of the gods. All right, and stop talking. Please sully. stop talking. So what you're gonna want to do is once the first enemy spawns, you just well get hit by sudden death because you're bad at the game. One. Yeah, just keep grabbing until you hit ten. Two. Three. God damn it. Alright, I'll just cut to when I when I finally get 10 grabs. Another thing I wanted to mention is that don't let Hercules, like any of the Hercules, get a kill on the la on any NPC. Because otherwise, if they get the kill, their Super Soul is not going to stack. So, see right there? Now that's a 10% boost from those two Hercules. Alright, I'm going to have to need him to stop. Okay, there we go. I'm fully stacked up. Now I can do my thing. So, to explain why Vanishing Ball was the exception to this, by the way, is because I can do this. Or, you know, just get, you know, cucked by the, uh, the game PCs. Here, you want to do this. Just loop it together over and over again until he dies. See how much damage I did right there? And that NPC has a defense boost. Like, he has damage reduction. Normally, it would take forever to kill him. But because I'm stacked by 50%, well, actually like 70 now, I'm able to do so much more. Alright. So far, so good. Alright, I'm just go to the ground and charge up a bit. <laughs> So you've started already. You're a hasty one, aren't you? Okay. I'll be your opponent. That you came from the demon now? Well then. You can return uh, from whence you came. Just uh okay, they locked off to me. It's future. Let me just boost my damn chew real quick. From the plague called humanity. No place. Luckily, this map is actually kind of small, so I can just keep you. doing it without having to worry about distance. This is justice. How could I take so much damage? Uh, that's because trick. of the super soul. Yeah, it is a cheap How trick. How do you know? Yeah, I think female earthlings in general are just the best key blasters in the game. Like. Female Saiyans, sure, they have those transformations and everything, but in terms of like utility, I I like the regen the the automatic key regeneration on the character on the on the Earthlings just in general. It's just it just feels a lot better than because their combos are better than the female Saiyans by far. I shall grant you the sweet mercy of well, yeah, if you ever have like the, s the character slot to do so, just like. Oh yeah. Also, another thing to note: don't don't like throw this on the ground. Otherwise, you won't be able to loop it together over and over and over again. You have to do it while you're in the air. I'm just boosting myself real quick. All right. Uh, I'm having really bad luck here, but usually if the eye would stop kicking them away, you just loop it over and over again. And then that's the mission beat, right there. See? See how fast that was? Because I kept killing all the AI over and over and over and over and over again, I kept getting the buff from the two Hercule Satans. And every single... And, and uh, because I boosted my uh, damage as well from the grabs, I'm able to do like around probably at least over 100% damage per per parallel quest. And if you're lucky, sometimes if there's enough enemies, you can get to like 150% damage uh, from those both super souls stacking along with yours. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could showcase more, but what else can I do? I'll let you... Go ahead and, you know, experiment with that. Do as you will. Maybe you can make the build better than mine. Who knows? Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Just 
use Raditz Super Soul. Oh, and one more thing. Raditz Super Soul is actually somewhere around here. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, Raditz Super Soul can be found in this in this one. Uh, Parallel Quest One Five One, even further beyond. I've uh, I'll keep adding a bit of power to my attacks. Uh, if you're wondering. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share with your friends maybe, subscribe. I don't do videos like this usually all the time, but if this video gets, you know, some views, maybe like a few hundred or something, maybe I'll do another one. The It depends. I don't usually do PvP videos or anything like that. Um, I usually just play the game, games that I like, post short clips of them. So, I won't spam your notification box with anything terrible and uninteresting just for views. Uh, if you just subscribe to me and you maybe you'll see me once in a while, but I won't be much of a bother in terms of notifications. Uh, other than that, I'm thank you for I'm thankful that you watched and uh, have a great day. Later.